In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up follow-up reminders with Spark. We can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, what do I mean by follow-up reminders? Well, let's say you send out an email to someone. And then what you're waiting for is a response from them. Well, with a follow-up reminder, what you can do is you can set that email to come back into your inbox if you don't hear from them by a specific date. As an example, let's say I'm sending out an email to my friend Lee. I need a response from him by next week Wednesday. If I don't have a response from him by next week Wednesday, what I can do is I can set that email to come back into my inbox next week Wednesday. So then I can send it out again. So it's a follow-up reminder. As I mentioned, we can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at how we do this on the Mac. In this video, we're going to look at how we can create follow-up reminders for our email in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. We're first going to look at this on my Mac. So I'm in Spark here, and let's go and create a new email. So I just go up to the little pencil here, click on it, I have my new email. Now what I need to do is get a response, need response by next Wednesday. So whoever I send this to, what I would like to do is get a response by next Wednesday. Now let's say this person doesn't respond. As I mentioned in the introduction, what I can do is I can have this email come back and it'll notify me that no one has responded. So I get that email back in my list and then I can send that email out to someone. So all I need to do to do that is just go down to the bottom here and what you're going to see here is set reminder. When I click on this, what I'm able to do is set a reminder. So I'm going to go with next week Wednesday. So I just go down to pick a date and then we go over to Wednesday here. I can set a time and then I just click on Set Reminder. If I want to receive a notification, I can also receive a notification. So let's go ahead and set this up for next week, Wednesday. And now we have Remind Me on August 10 at 7 p.m. So now what will happen is if I do not receive a response from this person by next week, Wednesday at 7 p.m., this email will come back into my inbox. Now I did not check for a notification, so let's go ahead and select alert. I will also now get an alert. So now, I just send the email out, and I don't have to worry about wondering if that email has come back yet. Now we can customize these dates here. You're gonna see I have remind me with some default values here. We can customize these. What we need to do, I'm just going to close this here, and we'll save that draft. What we do is we go up to Spark in the menu bar, and then we go over to our Preferences. Under Preferences, we have a new window that opens up, and what we need to do is go over to Scheduling. This is where we can schedule our snoozes as well as send later, but we also have our reminders. So now what I do is I just select this, and I can set when later today is. Right now it's at plus three hours. It'll add three hours. Maybe I want to have it for five hours, or maybe I want tomorrow to be at 8 a.m. So we can customize what the default behavior is. And then if we will always want it to notify us by default, we can also select this. Let's see how this works on the iPad. So I'm in Spark here, and I'm going to create a new email. And again, you're going to see up at the top, I have this little alarm clock. All I do is just click on this, and then I can set a reminder. Much like the Mac, I can set when I want the reminder. I can also customize it and pick a date, and then I can set a notification. If you want to customize it through the settings, through Spark settings, what you do, let's go ahead and close this here. What you do is you go up to the three horizontal lines here, and then we go down to settings, and you're going to see scheduling and then from here I go to reminders and I can customize my different reminders and I can also set it to alert me by default. 
The iPhone works very similar to the iPad. Basically what I do is I create a new email and then you're going to see the alarm clock at the very bottom. From here I can set when I want a reminder if the person doesn't respond by this specific date, it'll remind me by putting it back into the inbox. I can also set an alert and I can customize it. I can even pick a date. We can also customize this by going to the settings. Go to the settings at the very bottom. You're going to see scheduling. I go to reminders and then I can customize the reminders. So that's how we set follow-ups or follow-up reminders in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. This is a pretty handy feature. Basically what you're able to do is send someone an email. If you're waiting for a response, you can let Spark manage that for you. So then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to put it into a reminder. You don't have to think about it every day. You can let Spark just kind of manage that for you. Set the reminder date up, and if the person responds before that, the reminder will disappear. And if the person doesn't respond by that date, it'll show back up in your inbox, and then you can go and send them another reminder. You can even set notifications. And you can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So that's how we set follow-up reminders in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, if you like what you saw here, what you may want to do is like the video. Give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube that you like it, and maybe what I can do then is help other people because they'll recommend my video to other people. You can also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about my videos, I do have over 1,600 videos available, easy to follow videos on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. You can find those on danstutorials.com. In addition to having over 1,600 videos, you can also Keep track of which lessons you've taken. You can take notes. You can favorite tutorials. So if you'd like to learn more, take a look at my dancetutorials.com. I hope this video was helpful and helping you learn more about your Apple device.